Hey folks, it's Ryan Bridge, the Bugman, and look, uh, those folks who are freaking out over spotted lanternfly, yeah, you probably want to be. Um, they're all reaching adult stage at this point. Um, I'm going to try and show you one here. This little guy right there. That right there is a spotted lanternfly. Um, and yep, there's a million of them out here. For what it's worth, it's not it's not the bugs themselves that we should be worrying about. Um, I'm going to try and use the sun to my advantage here. I want to show you what's really going on. Um, they secrete what is known as honeydew, and that's a really nice word for a really bad thing. Um, you'll hear you may hear about that with aphids secreting honeydew and feeding ants. These things secrete a honeydew. That really doesn't feed too many things. Although I see bees and hornets and things come to them late in the fall when there's no other food, they do. They are attracted to the honeydew that they that they put out. But it's what that honeydew does. And I'm going to show you the first stages of this, so that everybody gets an idea. Notice, notice that glare. Notice what looks like wetness. Notice what looks like a fresh rain on these leaves. Um, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not rain. That's honeydew, and it is sticky, and it is not a good thing. But if you notice, it's all over the understory, all the trees, all these cherry trees and this, this couple of small oaks that I have underneath my birch right here are covered in this stuff. And what's going to happen, it's not happening yet, but it's going to get bad in a pretty big hurry. Um, this honeydew is eventually going to turn into a black mold and when it does everything you see that is glinting and shining and looking nice and fresh and rained on is actually going to turn black and gray and gross there's another spotted lanternfly um it's all going to turn black and gray and gross and what that's going to do is that's going to coat this entire understory and that is going to cut off photosynthesis so in the real picture guys it's not the bugs themselves as much as it is the black mold that they're going to create in your gardens uh, on your properties around your trees and yes in your trees um, if you have a tree that has a lot of these things in it the the uh, trunk and the bark of that tree is probably going to turn black after a while and that blackness is from the the black mold growing all over this honeydew that is all over my tree. And as the sun comes around now, I can actually see how bad this birch tree is. And I can see adult lanternflies all through this tree and everybody has them. So I'm not the only one and I'm not waging my own self complaint here. What I'm trying to tell you is um, be prepared for what is the onslaught of phase two of the spotted lanternflies. And that is black mold on your understory, on your garden, beneath your trees, in your grass, beneath your trees, from the spotted lanternflies. All right, prepare for this. I'm not sure how to stop that from happening unless we find a way to get rid of the spotted lanternflies, but that's the way it works, man. Nature, sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's not so fun. All right, man, see you around. Hey folks, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman. Check that out. Agitated piles of wasps. Check this out, this is cool. Stay with me, man. Nothing but tons of cool bug fun.